Tenfold Education. My name is Sayuri Gavinder from Glen Vista High School. Please can you help me with this question on artificial selection? Okay, Sayuri, thank you for this question, hun. We again, but now we're talking about, if we have a look here, artificial selection. Now remember, artificial selection is humans. We decide, this is us. Okay, and we, they've introduced two varieties of maize. One has a high oil content and one has a low oil content. So F is high, so just write that here. Um, F is high and let's look at our graph here. And G is going to be low. All right, and then they say here, the graph below shows the change in the oil content of grains, the two varieties, over 100 years. Now remember, if it is, if they talk about um, a strain, you're talking about microorganisms. If it's a variety, it's plants. And if it's a breed, it's animals. So let's look here. The graph tells you it's the changes in the oil content of the two varieties of maize over 100 years. So let's look at our questions here. Um, dependent variable, um, I mean independent variable, and your dependent variable, it's your results, okay? In which year did the two maize varieties have the same? The only place where they are the same is here, which is 1900. Alrighty, let's next question. Uh, calculate the percentage increase in the oil content of the variety F over a 100 year period. So let's look at a variety F. I'm going to do it here next to us here. So it goes from 20 to 100. So 100 minus 20 is 80. Over the 20 here, that's its starting point, um, times 100 is equal to 400%. How did I get that? You cross the noughts off. 2 divides into 8 gives you 4. 4 times 100 is 400%. Okay, I now have less than a minute, people. So um, the last question, tabulate two differences between natural selection and artificial selection. So I'm going to rattle them off here quickly. Your, for natural selection, remember if you have to draw the graph, you get an extra mark. For natural selection on this side, your selective force is the environment and nature. For artificial selection, it's us, it's humans. Humans are the selective force. Suitability depends on the suitability to the environment is going to cause for a, a survival. Whereas when you look at the, the artificial selection, suitability depends on human needs. Do we choose them? Don't we choose them? Do we keep them? Okay. Um, and then lastly, with, with natural selection, it's within one species. Whereas if you look at your, your uh, um, artificial selection, you can use one or more species and then interbreed them to get the trait. <laughs>